Hi everyone and welcome to another Kadas video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Kadas software Neural Network or KSNN version 1.0 on your Vim3 or Vim3LS PC. Do note that this tutorial will only work on a Vim3 or Vim3LS PC that has an NPU or Neural Processing Unit. To my left, you can see that I have a Vim3 with a cooling fan and heatsink installed because this whole process is going to use up a lot of CPU and NPU power and if you don't have a proper thermal system installed you will experience throttling and um, you won't be able to properly run your neural network. Okay. In addition, I have a keyboard and mouse connected, a HDMI cable, a USB-C cable that is connected to a dedicated power brick with USB PD not a uh, standard the black color power brick 5 volts nor is it connected to a pc which may not be able to supply sufficient power for this tutorial finally on the last usb port i have a logitech webcam attached to my vim3 spc that will run the demo so you can see here this is the logitech webcam all right Okay, so just head over to this forum post, forum.kadas.com slash t slash python npu ksnn. I'll leave this um, link in the video description below. And you'll see here the explanation that the relevant code has been uh, migrated from GitLab to GitHub and the conversion tool is run on the PC and the operation or the execution of the neural network is run on the SPC. Alright, so the model, in other words, the model is trained on your PC, it is then converted using the conversion tool into a model that can run on your SPC, and then the trained or pre-trained model is then executed uh, on your single board computer, be it a Vim3 or Vim3L. All right. So to begin the installation process, just click the first link over here, KSNN Usage, which will take you to this docs.cutters.com slash linux slash vim3 in this case i am using a vim3 slash ks and then usage.html all right so first things first step one install ksnn and we've got to clone the code from git uh, github into your uh, sbc all right so open a terminal window over here i have opened the terminal window from this button over here terminal make sure you're in the home directory which is most convenient and just copy the first command. All right, so this command will create a new uh, folder called workspace and cd us into workspace. All right. So next we gotta clone the git directory into our folder called workspace. Right, I'm cloning it now. Uh, the speed of the cloning process or the downloading process basically will depend on the speed of your internet connection. Uh, you can see here I'm downloading at 1.36 megabytes per second or less and I will pause the video and once the cloning is complete I will restart the video again. All right so see you soon. All right welcome back and I finished uh, cloning the directory. It took a good five minutes or more. Alright, so next step is you need to install some dependencies. Okay, again, just copy this command. Okay, in my case, uh, dependency is already installed. If um, you don't have it, then just follow the instructions. It's quite straightforward. Okay, next we gotta install the library. So we got a CD into the KSNN directory. And we gotta do this twice. Alright. And again we gotta run this via pip3.
Oh, okay. And in my case, it's already we're already installed. Okay, so it's very easy, very straightforward. Uh, run the command on your computer, Linux computer. Okay. And uh, let's go on to example of use. All right. So demos all situated in the examples directory. Uh huh. Let's check. Where are we? All right. So you can see, just as it says in documentation, all the models: Cafe, Darknet, Keras, Onyx, PyTorch, TensorFlow, and TensorFlow Lite. They're all there. All right. Uh, and um, let's try TensorFlow for example. So you see the TensorFlow. And you can see these are all the TensorFlow files. If you want to read readme, just nano readme. And this is the readme file. Okay. So we just close it. Uh, running the commands and conversion parameters. Right, okay. So readme contains the commands. Um let's see. And this is the command over here, I believe. So we just copy this portion. Being careful uh, not to copy anything else. Alright, so just paste it in here. Level 0 over here is the verbosity, so um, if you check out the documentation over here, and we look at this right hand side, level 2 is the highest verbosity. Alright, so I'll just show that to you. So first we run it at level 0. And bang, it's quite a short output. And we switch it to level 2. Bang, we get a much longer output. All right. Okay. So now that I've finished installing KSNN, uh, I'm just going to show you the KSNN Open Pose demo, which is basically a neural network designed to recognize uh, poses of human beings in pictures or movies. Right, so let's just uh, CD out of this directory. Okay, so again we're cloning another git directory and this might take some time depending on the speed of your internet connection. So I'll pause the video here and once we're done, I will restart the video. So see you again later. Right, welcome back and I've successfully cloned the git directory. So we will proceed on to the next command, which would be to cd into the directory. <coughs> Right. And the next thing we want to do is we got to plug in our webcam, which I've already done, and find its device number using the command ls dev uh, video star. Alright, so you can see I have multiple video devices over here. And I'm not quite sure which one it is, so how to solve this? Well, easy. Unplug your webcam. So here my Vim3 is running at full tilt. I'm just going to be very careful not to also unplug the USB-C. Alright. And we just run the command again. And we see that slash dev slash video zero is missing. So, um... Zero is the device ID of my webcam. So again, carefully plug in the webcam, being sure not to press any of the reset buttons up there, no unplugging the USB-C, okay? And if you run the command one more time, you see that video zero is there again, okay? So our webcam is device zero, all right? So that's about it guys, you just scroll down and you'll see two demos, single person and multiple person. So multiple person means it can recognize the poses of multiple people in a video or in a picture and single person is just one person. If you try to run 
uh, single or multiple, then it, it kind of messes up, right? So be sure to know beforehand what your situation is, okay? So the simplest example will be over here. Uh, I'll show you the simplest example first. Because I'm running a screen recording at the same time, so I'm a little worried that the SOC will be very, very taxed. So let's run a simple static demo uh, using a picture. Okay, so level zero again is the least verbose. Press enter. Starting neural network. Starting inference. Calculating some weights. And any time now, it should spit out that picture. Ah, there we are. So, despite the CPU being heavily loaded, here we are. So you can see there's this cute girl over here. She's got a face, she's got a, a neck, shoulders, uh, left and right hips, right knee, left knee, left foot. Left arm. There are some bugs, for example, her right arm and her left calf have not been recognized. Okay, to exit this, just press the terminal again and press Ctrl Z. Alright, so exit and then close this window. CPU is quite uh, taxed. But in your case, uh, if you're not doing a screen record, it should be easier and should be faster. <clears throat> Alright, now we're going to switch up to the very complex demo, well, or rather CPU and NPU intensive demo, which is to actually use the webcam. Alright, wish me luck. Alright, I'm just going to explain to you that Device X will have to be replaced with your ID of your webcam. In my case is device 0, so I showed you ahead and we press enter. Let's hope it runs. Okay, so, oh, there we go, that is the webcam's output. Uh, let's give it a try. So I'm gonna move my uh, camera out of the way. guys it works it's kind of slow because i'm also recording my screen at the same time as running this demo so i think this is really taxing the uh, arm cpu because it is an spc after all but as you can see it's working and it's working pretty well all right you can also see parts of my room put my camera back Pretty cool, huh? And we'll close this demo. Alright, we survived. <laughs> so the SBC was, uh, fan was running at full tilt just now because of all the load. Alright. So, yeah, that's it, guys. And uh, let's see what else do we have here. Okay, so that's it for this demo. And um, the conversion tool is over here. Okay, to convert your models to SBC compatible models. And the API documentation is over here. It's a PDF uh, file. You can have a look at it yourself. If you have any questions, just go back to our forum and Frank, uh, just at Frank, and he will answer any of your questions you have. Um, you can see down here. That uh, Frank has already been answering uh, questions of some people so just at Frank with a capital F and Frank will get back to you okay so thank you for watching this video I hope uh, it enlightens you on how to um, install the KSNN software as well as run an open post demo um, and of course 
this is a very CPU intensive activity, so you might encounter a lot of lag and experience may not be perfect, especially when you're doing a, a full screen video capture as I was doing, as I am doing. Alright, so I apologize for that and uh, I'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching. Alright, bye-bye.